Hello everybody, um, this is Roger Hansen back again with Robert's Gardening Experiment. Today what we have here are two plants, uh, flower bushes that have been in, attacked by, by insects or possibly little worms. Um, and what I'm going to do is try to attempt rescuing these bushes by doing what I did here. This is the beginning part of it. I went ahead and clipped this uh, plant after the stem had been attacked. And it, the stem basically was falling down and dying. So I just clipped it off and pulled the roots out of uh, the ground because the ground's basically infested. It, happened again to this one it's not a very good look at it so I'll pick you guys up and let you go ahead. basically I use that stick to hold it up and the problem is right down here it's all black and they've already chewed away at basically every other part of this there was more stems and they just picked them off one at a time Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clip off this stem because once I disconnect it from here you'll see what I'm talking about there the stick gives it support but other than that it, it's basically done it fell over so I'm going to go ahead and just clip that off and take the root system out sterilize it I'm going to use peroxide for two minutes and then we are going to transplant it into this container right here. I put a sponge here and then what I'm going to do is there's a material that's inside of these pads that I learned about two years ago and they expand and they retract. I'm going to add water and it will expand. And I'm going to have the root system, that root system, and that root system in, on both sides, inside of it. And then I'm going to put my cantaloupe seeds in that green uh, thing that I was talking to you about. And I'll put it over the top of it to get them started. And we can probably take care of all of it at the same time. Because the roots from what I've been told they're supposed to have half the light that they're used to so maybe that'll help it out if I work together with all so of what them. I was told that to do was to leave about an inch and a half inch and a half of stem and I'm going to do that but I'm also going to go in here and look at the stem and see if there's anything or if it looks dead yeah it pretty much looks dead That is the result of what I'm talking about. And it's happening on all of them. So now I go in with the spoon. Oh. find the root system. Look like it had a pretty good root system going too. Dig out around it. As much as I can without causing too much damage.
it did have a pretty good sized root system, I gotta say that much. So, let me get cleaned up a little bit. <clears throat> this is what I will be using to sterilize it. Clean my hands off before I touch this iPad. <laughs> I'll be back alright now I am going to apply the peroxide and according to what I was told when I do this I'm supposed to wait two minutes let it sit for two minutes and after two minutes whatever is in there that is, I guess, bacteria or whatever will be cleaned out. They also say to use this against bugs and stuff like that. It's dirty water, so I don't know if you're going to see much. You'll see the reaction. I will wait two minutes and come back and then I have to rinse it off and that's when I go to do the transplant. Okay, now I've changed my mind. Instead of using the other one container, I'm going to use this one and this is the setup I'm going to do. I've washed and rinsed this root system right here after I put peroxide on it, which I was suggested to do with seeds. So it's just an experiment, I guess, with me. I don't think anybody said anything about doing it with the root systems, but I'm going to give it a try because I'm desperate. I'm going to take and bust open this pad and get the white stuff out of it because I used it a year ago, or maybe two years ago, and it actually was pretty useful. So I'm going to do that and add it to this. Then I'm going to take and put my cantaloupe seeds in this and set it over the top of this so that it not only grows cantaloupe seeds but the roots in here has a chance to grow too and be in an area that has half the light that it usually gets, which was also okay. Just now that I've done it, I took a pair of scissors and I broke into that pad. I know it sounds strange because it's usually used by old people, but if you have that available, that's good too. Um, <clears throat> you can also find that stuff in diapers. And what you do is you break into it and you get the cottony material that's inside of it. When you apply water to it, it, it retracts and it inflates. And I used it before and it seems to be a pretty good thing. Uh, I'm going to put that on here. And now I'm going to spray the material and the sponge with peroxide and water. I uh, sterilized the container too with peroxide and water. And I put some aspirin and water on it too. Then after I did that, I also did soap water. I'm still giving soap water a try because I'm tired of animals and infestations and craziness. And I'm having to switch the nozzles on these sprayed things because I only have one that will fit these things. <laughs> spray the sponge and I spray the material. Like I said, I did the whole container too. Now, after I've done that, I'm going to come in and I'm going to check my seeds, see if they're dry. And if 
stay or dry without fungus. I'm going to start putting them inside of the mesh that I told you about. And at the moment it doesn't seem like they're dried out very much so I'm not going to do that. But this time there is no fungus. I had an earlier video out that showed that there was fungus when I had it all mixed in together. So I started using newspaper, like it was suggested, on a video. And that's all I'm really doing is using suggestions. Because, like I said, I'd done gardening a couple years ago and it was a failed attempt because I didn't put as much effort into it as what I should have. But, no reason to fear, I'm still going to put this over the top of this container and then when I'm ready to put seeds in it, I will just go ahead and put seeds in it. It'll be ready. Now, I found this little tip, nit, or tip on a video about aquaponics. And the guy was in Hawaii and he was at their aquaponics center and they were putting these on top of their seeds or using them with their seeds. He didn't suggest it, he just basically showed it, but I figured it couldn't hurt to try. So I used them the last time and my cantaloupes are growing like you wouldn't believe. So I'm going to try it with these, this now. And see how it works out. Press it down there firmly and close it up if I can find the lid to it. Where did I put that lid? But anyhow, these are actually filters, and this filter will catch any kind of material that's trying to get to those roots and stop it dead in its tracks. That's why I had that white stuff on top of my cantaloupe the first time I seen it. It, it shocked me, but it was actually doing good. But that is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments, please share because I need all the advice I can get. Um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and like I said, comment. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you very much.